I'm just saying. Knockback is a pain in the okay. ass. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, here. No, uh, but, but I'm sick of getting burned on, on Meteorite 2. The Obsidian Skull takes up the, a whole accessory slot just to not. Alright, how about this? And, and you know what? You can combine them. What if I want to be immune to everything? Oh. Ah! <laughs> that hurt. Hey there, been a while. Anyways, this is the Onk Shield, and if you're exploring in late game Terraria, it is practically required. With this shield alone, you are immune to knockback, burning, blindness, confusion, bleeding, darkness, poison, slowed, chilled, broken armor, cursed, silenced, weak, and every high schooler's worst nightmare, you can't get stoned. But this comes at the cost of a very long and tedious crafting tree, but luckily it's not too hard to get everything, so let's jump into it and show you how to make the Ankh Shield. The Obsidian Shield is crafted with the Cobalt Shield and Obsidian Skull. If you couldn't figure that out, I don't know what to tell you. The Obsidian Skull is crafted at a furnace with 20 obsidian and it grants immunity to burning from fire blocks and also adds one defense. Now the Cobalt Shield can be found in gold chests in the dungeon for a 1 in 7 chance. Or if you're having a hard time finding gold chests in the dungeon, you can try fishing for a gold lockbox in the dungeon for some godforsaken reason for the exact same chance of getting a Cobalt Shield, you masochistic gremlin! The shield grants you immunity to knockback and also adds one defense. Then, at a Tinkerer's Workshop, you can combine the two of them and reap the benefits of both items with the power of one accessory slot. Now, I want to play a game with you. This is a list of every debuff the next couple items grant immunity to. I want you to guess what each item is going to grant immunity to before I finish talking about it. And if you want to put your guesses in the comments section, uh, sure. But I mean, you really don't have to. The Reflective Shades are crafted with the Blindfold and Pocket Mirror, both of which are obtained from enemy drops. The Blindfold is dropped from various hard mode evil biome enemies, these being the Corrupt Slime, Slimeling, or Dark Mummy from the Corruption, or the Crim Slime and Blood Mummy from the Crimson. It's a 1% drop from all these enemies in Normal Mode and 2% in Hard and Extra Mode. And as you'd imagine, it grants immunity to... Blindness, despite doing the exact opposite in real life, the Pocket Mirror is dropped from the hard mode enemy Medusa with 2.5% drop rate. It's the item that grants immunity to the Stoned debuff, which Medusa is the only enemy that can inflict this debuff in the first place. It's kind of redundant. It's also important to note that if you drop either of these items into the Shimmer, you will get the other item in exchange. So if you want my advice, honestly, I just get two blindfolds and then drop one into the Shimmer because Medusa is a pretty rare enemy in the first place and 2.5% is not worth it, I'm gonna be honest. And like every other item here today, you can craft the Reflective Shades at a Tinkerer's Workshop and it gives the benefits of both items used to craft it. Outside of its design being taken straight out of a ninja's wardrobe, the armor bracing is crafted using vitamins and armor polish. Vitamins are obtained from the hard mode evil biome enemies Corruptor for the corruption and Floaty Gross for the crimson with a 1% normal mode drop rate and a 2% drop rate in expert in hard mode. Master, not hard, what the fuck? <laughs> armor polish is dropped from the armored skeletons in the dungeon in the post hard mode as well as the blue armored bones post plantera both having a 1% chance to drop in normal mode and 2% in expert in master mode. It grants immunity to the broken armor debuff. As always, you can shimmer either item to get the other, and by crafting the armor bracing at a tinkerer's workshop, you get the perks of both items. The medicated bandage is crafted with, guess what, an adhesive bandage in medicine. Except it's not. This isn't medicine, this is the vitamins from earlier. Pay more attention next time. It's actually crafted with the adhesive bandage and the bizow. Bizo, Bizo, Biza, Bizor. I gotta look this up. Bizor. Bizor. The adhesive bandage is obtained in hard mode from the angler fish or werewolf, or from rusty bones from the post plantera dungeon. As you'd expect, it has a 1% drop rate in normal mode and 2% in expert in master mode. And it grants immunity to the bleeding debuff. As for the Bazaar, it is one of two immunity accessories in the Ankh Shield recipe that can be obtained pre-hard mode as the pre-hard mode Hornet can drop it alongside the hard mode Moss Hornet and the Toxic Sludge enemy, all of which has a 1% drop rate in normal mode and 2% in expert and master, and it grants immunity to the poison debuff. And you can craft a Tinker's Workshop and Shimmer Swap, whatever, y you, you get it by this point, right? 
The counter curse mantra is made with the Nazar and Megaphone. Coming right off the Bazaar, the Nazar is actually the only other immunity item that can be obtained in free hard mode. This time it can be obtained in the free hard mode dungeon from the cursed skull and the hard mode dungeon from the giant skull and the hard mode corruption from the cursed hammer, the hard mode crimson from the crimson axe and the hollow from the enchanted sword. And as you can probably guess, it has a 1% drop in normal and 2% in expert and master and it grants immunity to the cursed debuff. Something that I want to do after reading out all that. Now, the megaphone is gotten in hard mode from the green jellyfish, pixies from the hollow, blood mummies from the hard mode crimson desert, or dark mummies from the hard mode corruption desert. Uh, in my own personal experience, you'll get a lot of them from pixies. Really, anything that drops from a pixie, you will get a shit ton of if you just walk around. And of course, it has a 1% drop in normal and 2% in expert and mastered, and it grants immunity to... The silenced debuff. And as always, you can shimmer one into the other and craft the counter curse mantra at the Tinkerer's Workshop, granting you the benefits of both items. I'm getting so sick of saying that. Finally, the last item to get for the shield is the plan, which can be made from the trifold map and the fast clock. The trifold map can be dropped from clowns in the hard mode Blood Moon, giant bats from the hard mode underground or light mummies from the hollow desert. They have a 1% drop rate in normal mode and a 2% in expert and master mode. And it grants immunity to the confusion debuff. Last but not least, the fast clock, which can be dropped from the hollow pixies, wraiths, or normal mummies found in the hard mode desert. It has a 1% drop rate in normal mode and a 2% drop rate in expert and master mode. And the last debuff off the list, the fast clock grants immunity to the slow debuff. Combine them at the Tinkerer's Workshop, shimmer if you have a dupe. I'm sick of explaining this, let's just finish off this recipe. With the Reflective Shades, Armor Bracing, Medicated Bandage, Counter Curse Mantra, and the plan, go to the Tinkerer's Workshop again. And now you can craft the Ankh Charm, which grants immunity to every debuff from its combined parts. And finally, with the Ankh Charm and the Obsidian Shield from way back at the beginning of this video, you can take your last trip to the Tinkerer's Workshop and craft the coveted Ankh Shield. And for all of your work, it gives you an extra 2 defense added on top of the plus 2 defense given from the obsidian shield giving you a total of plus four defense and immunity to a bunch of debuffs but before we end the video there are two things i want to note about the shield before youtube autoplay is the worst possible video imaginable that is although you need to be in hard mode to get most of the items in the crafting tree you don't actually need to be any bosses before getting them and if you want to get it i would suggest getting it in early hard mode because a lot of the debuffs are a bigger pain in the ass in early hard mode However, a lot of them will pop up again after early hard mode, such as bleeding, which late hard mode is inflicted by the vampire in the solar eclipse and apparently Duke Fishron in expert in master mode. And the last note is that some debuffs that aren't directly stated in the item description are also affected by immunities of the Ankh shield, those being chilled since it's basically just slow and feral bite. While you will still have the Feral Bite debuff, the other randomized debuffs Feral Bite will apply to the player are included in the immunities of the shield. So if you have the Ankh shield on, the only thing you have to really deal with with the Feral Bite debuff is decreased life regeneration and increased attack damage. So there you go, a video explaining how to craft the Ankh shield to all of those who don't want to go on the wiki. And if you don't mind me, I have to end the video because there is a massive hole in my roof that I gotta get to fix. See ya. I'm gonna bomb a children's hospital.